Then after you've scooped out the cocoons, they're all wet, so they have to be dried thoroughly. Nice good absorbent piece of paper towel helps there. Toweling. And they're getting dry, but they're not completely dry, so I use this little trick. Just want to roll them up in this towel like this. All nicely rolled up. Just make it into a little ball like that. And I'll take that and put it in the refrigerator for a day and that makes sure that they're nice and dry and before I transfer them to the peanut butter jars, plastic jars, something like this, holes in the top and that way you can store them. So if you do this washing effort in late November, December, even January, uh, then you can get them in the fridge and then have a controlled release whenever your fruit trees or vegetables you want pollinated early in the spring uh, are coming into bloom. By having them in the refrigerator, you can hold them sometimes up until, even until uh, May. <clears throat> and if they start hatching in the fridge, you can actually feed them a little bit of uh, cotton bat and soaked with a bit of sugar. But it's unlikely you want to keep them that long. It's best to have them released by the end of the May, end of May. And that should cover your various fruit trees, apples, um, should have finished blooming by then. So we'll just put that in the fridge overnight and then I'll take it out tomorrow, dump the bees into the plastic jar.